Today's topic is to have the first and distinct permutations of our string using an editor tools. So first we are going to import our library that is from the editor tools we are going to import the permutations and after that we are going to create a function name the permutation on which we are going to pass our string and the end that is up to the how much elements you need permutation. After that we have uh, sorted our string after conversion of the string into the list and stored them into the string one and the perm which is a variable in which all of the permutations of the string one are stored and we have a stored variable over here which have been set to and set to method over here so why i have done this because we need to check that if uh, that permutation which we get from the permutations method is a distinct element or not if it is not a distinct then how we are going to check it so that's why we have take a storage over here which have been set to a set method over here so which will be setting all those elements into the distinct if it is then if it is not then we are just uh, go moving it out and we are again going through the loop again and a temp one which is our temporary string and we have initialized an i set to be the zero after that we have taken a while loop over here that is while i less than n is going to check go through the loop and we have a condition that is temp1 is equals to join perm and the next method over here so what is this next method right the next method over here underscore underscore next underscore underscore method over here it's called an iterative protocol over here so this function the next function which we used in the python and the later editions so what you do is the function was been set to manually iterate through all of the items of our iterator right so this is basically the same thing this method is just going to return the next item in the the sequence and on meeting up to the end it's going to call another method that is the stop iteration method which is going to stop the iteration and it's going to throw back an error that is our the string which we have been using in the sequence it get exhausted right so that's what we get so what we're going to do is we are going to take the next permutation and we are going to join them and store that into the temporary one variable and we are checking that if the temp1 is not in the store or not if it is, it is not in the store then we are adding that permutation in the store and we are printing it out and after that we are incrementing the value of an i and this is our driver code over here the string which we are going to work on and the n that is number of a time which you need to have permutations so let's say if i need a permutation of a no no and i need up to the 5 so that's how I get the five distinct permutations over here. So now if you need to check like the next method over here, as I say that in the end if the string gets exhausted, right? So it's going to call its uh, subclass, which is uh, to the stop iteration method, which is going to throw back an error. If you need it, then let's check that if I need up to the 20 iterations of it. So as you can see, we got an traceback error that is to the stop iteration. That is if the permutation method is going to get exhausted. So that's why we get the stop iteration method over here. So, so it's not considered as an error. It's a traceback error that is it's going to tell us that the iteration has been stopped because the next iterator, it got exhausted. So don't consider it as an error.